The very first question I told on was Pastor Lynette and Sister Cassie. Why? Because Jesus asked the question when I was sick, did you visit me? When I was at a hospital, did you show up in prison? Did you come? These were people every time that were on the highway going to encourage Brother Jimmy and my sister, Sister you, in her hours of addiction. They stood by her. They were genuine friends. Amen. They visited all, even and gave all. They did the work of a pastor. They went and they gave communion to all. Amen. So people like this, and that's how I come by the people of Pastor Ben, everybody pastor. Yes, everybody ought to be a pastor. Everybody ought to be a servant. Everybody ought to be able to find the wounds of their victims. That's the work of a pastor. All these other things we attach to this position, that's not it. The picture is it, the post is it, and all these other extra things of junk. That's not it. The Bible says that you want to say to Moses, they see, but you will not do his work. You will not lift up one finger to help somebody who is sick. So, sister, I don't want to step out. Look, I want to say something to your friend. I want to say something, say goodbye to your friend. Hallelujah. Address God as if she is still living. The times you are happy, we have to memorize your share. I want you to say something. Let those of us who are on the outside hear something. Pray, right, both of you. Then we'll come back and do the message. <laughs> There's a place. There's a place up there for people like Theo. When somebody was in need, Theo was there. There was a time when I lost my home. A lot of people don't know that. I was homeless for about a month. Theo and Jimmy took me in. I used to wait in the parking lot until they got home from work. And then I would go in. And no matter what time of the night it was, food was there. Theo was a friend. And Cassilia, Akula, Macaulay, Lawrence, they're all friends. These are people who know my good, my bad, and my ugly. And they still love me. They still accept me for who I am. Theo was a friend. Not just a friend, but a sister. She was my sister from another mother. From the moment we met, our spirits joined and we were, we were unified until the last day. I kept calling her that Friday morning. Is this going to call me, please? How are you? Is this going to call me, please? No answer. In my spirit, I knew something was wrong. And I called Jimmy to find out. Yeah. She will forever be in my heart. Yeah. The Empress Naomiya Corey. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Nim. She and I develop calling each other when we're standing together. Mur, let's continue. Hmm. Mur, and I said, I got somewhere to go. I got something on the go to go to. And I called you in and to me and he said, let's go. And you're ready to go. Mur, 
our midnight conversation. Four. Three, four o'clock in the morning. On the couch, you on one, I'm on the other. The couch missing you already. I slept on the couch this morning. Remember the last conversation, one of the last conversations we had. We said, Mur, we not friends anymore. We long past that. We are sisters. So now let's solidify this thing and get our nieces of your sons and my nieces to get married. <laughs> Stefana taking already, I believe. Because she said, she brought Stefana to my house. I said, okay, let's set them up. So she and my son, which one of them, Stefana doesn't know the difference. You look at all of them, all three look identical. Sorry, Stefana, I couldn't help you with that. Anthony, daughter, I don't know you guys are listening. She called Anthony. Say, Anthony. Cecilia's husband is coming. We are not friends, it's family. I want you to make the best, your favorite food. Anthony, thank you for preparing that because of your sister. You prepared that for my husband. You took care of him. Mer, I love you, girl. You rock, girl. You rock, girl. When I say you rock, oh. it reminds me of you telling me about Sapon. That he was talking to you, he was two years old. And he's telling you, I knock you out, girl. I knock you out, girl. And he's hiding and talking about it. Knock you out, girl. Two years old. And it just made us laugh every time he said that the way he said it. That smile, mm. that beauty, mm. the brilliance, mm. oh, the internal beauty, mm. the God-fearing woman, mm. the loving woman, the person who has a laugh will still get up and make a bowl of uh, a pot of soup to carry to somebody who's sick, who in need. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Uh, so I just wanted to, you know, clear the air on that so that we can uh, give uh, honor to the ones that are around. Because many of us will all be back. For me, whenever she visited the church, she loved it. She spoke there one or two times. But she always wanted more. After the message, she would come and say, Pastor, the message was too short. If somebody who loved the Lord and wanted to continue to serve the Lord, so we want to give her her honor and her glory. But Jimmy, I want to encourage you also. It's a hard thing. It, it looks like a stigma. Look at it. God can turn that into joy in your life. The Lord prepared you already for this before you were even born from your mother's womb. God knew this would happen to you. And he knew the way it would happen. And he gave you a uh, Encouragement in your inside and made you to be a man to pursue. I want to pursue, 
or to gain, not to ride it. And the Lord will see you through. Out of this, brother, I'm telling you, who will come out of this? Hallelujah. God will visit you. Amen. I want to thank you so much for being bold. For being a man. Oh, I think your mind is strict. Something wrong with you. For you to come to a funeral like this, and you know that somebody is sitting by you, that you have a bunch of things, and you push it in it. And then you pray to even go to the grave, and stay there, and see them bury the person, and you step across the field and say, my brother, and I like to be all that forget it. You know for the way that God will do your end. You know, this is reality. Yeah. You know, a friend of mine told me something. This woman was a good woman. She she wanted always the best in me. I don't know about you. Every time she would tell me about the demo, the library churches are too many. Why you can't come together and be one vibrant church? Why you can't come together? You can't say there is power, there is in unity, there is strength. That's what I'm saying. She will always try to encourage me. Amen. And you know, but we won't pay attention because that's who we are. 